Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. What's up everyone? I'm here with my friend Willem. How what have up? we not done a video yet? We have once, but it was like ages ago. You have been crushing it on the YouTube. Oh. So give, give us some insight of what your channel is. What up? My name is Willem. Um, I do videos all about photography and I focus a lot on film photography specifically. So any kind of old analog cameras is what mm -hmm. I tend to shoot with and we have some here today. We have so many here. So it all spawned from this little guy. Look at how tiny this is compared. So I got this in Tokyo. It was a really tiny shop and the guy was just so nice that I was like, I have to buy something <laughs> from here. There were so many cool film cameras and this called my name. Have you ever seen anything this small before? I haven't, that is definitely the smallest film camera. And so we're gonna use some film that I've never used before. So there's 35 millimeter film, mm -hmm. there's 120, which is AKA medium format, yeah. right? It's a, okay, I'm, I'm doing no, well. You got it. He's the expert here. Um, but this is 110, which is very, very small film that is gonna fit into this guy. Have you ever shot with 110? I haven't, no, it's actually, I'd say the least common film format, Yeah. but it was at one point like the most affordable, consumer friendly because it was also just the smallest format. So. Right. I'm guessing we're going to need a lot of light mm. for this, so we'll need to hurry up and go outside and shoot. Uh, we have one scarce color roll. Okay. Well, so. I have one color too. Oh, that's color. So, so Willem has oh, a 110. Yeah. And can you explain to me what this one is? So these are the same format. They both use 110 film, but this one is like an SLR. So you actually look through the lens when you look through the viewfinder. Mm -hmm. And that one is a range finder. So you have like a separate tunnel that Ooh. is supposedly what your film is going to say. Really, it comes in the plastic thing. You just drag and drop. Yeah. So there's no pressure of taking out the film, making sure it's the right way because Willem, I, you know how I went through the whole like film journey? Mm -hmm. So I got burned. Really? You wanna hear what I did? What did you do? So with my Leica R6, yeah. I was having a blast shooting. I loaded the film upside down. No way. When I started winding, it didn't really wind. And I was like, oh, it's not going. Mm -hmm. I did it like, like a hard budge. I literally pulled the film out of the canister. Oh, man. Still didn't know what was going on. And then I opened it and exposed like all the film because it wasn't in the canister. So did you shoot a lot of photos on it? Those were my Japan pictures. Oh no! So that was literally when I was like, digital cameras exist for a reason. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. But I'm ready to journey back into it because film is special. It's a unique vibe. Your pictures are so cool. Oh. So I'm excited. It Let's sucks do this. if you get like one bad experience. It really can ruin the whole yeah. thing so quickly. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Willem. How do you do? <laughs> Is there no metering on this? No, that's that's the funny thing. These oh. things are so simple that there's absolutely no exposure. It's like the aperture is whatever hole they cut in the lens and the shutter speed is however strong the spring is. So I literally only have the focus. Yeah, I don't even have the focus, actually. Guys, look how cute this is. So this is a like 24 one. millimeter f2.8. All right, I don't know if this will be in focus. Oh, it oh. works. That's gonna be awesome that you have a flash. Look how cute that is. I think you have to double wind these. It's so hard to focus on this tiny, tiny lens. Yeah, I'm excited about mine too. My <laughs> brick. <laughs> okay, let's go outside. We need to follow Willem because he's clearly the photographer here. Look at him. Look at Willem in the wild. What is he? What is he pondering? What do you see, Willem? I have no idea what I she just said. I just love how you're so like... Yeah, that was really bright. Okay, what's crazy is 
I'm not adjusting any settings. So the only thing I control is the focus. This is gonna be weird. So Willem is a little nervous because he doesn't have a flash. Nope. Just gonna look for a spot of light. I don't get to choose what I take pictures of. And the of first today. thing he said was like, oh, it's overcast. And that's already not enough light, right? I'm, it might be in bright places like on the main roads, but side streets, I don't know. With mine, if I wanna take a picture vertically, I hold it like this, which is just dumb funny. Go chase the light, Willem, go! You're gonna go, have to go. stand in it though, this is your portrait. Go to Tribeca Film Festival, right here. This is your portrait, yeah. All right, right now. Chilling right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna do one sideways. Got it. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so we filled up our color rolls. Very exciting, so fun to shoot with. We're gonna go on our merry way and then come back together and react to the pictures. So you gotta stick around. But in the meantime, Squarespace, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. So if you don't have a domain like saradici.com, you can do that, set up your online store or a portfolio in a matter of minutes. And you guys know that it has great search engine optimization. I use that when I post blogs. So when people Google me or Google the things that, hey, maybe my website will pop up. But I'm gonna talk about something a little different. Hey, Willem. Oh, wow. Willem's here, obviously. How convenient. <laughs> How convenient. Okay, I'm just gonna share my actual love for Squarespace because not only does it make it easier to build websites, but they also like support creators. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this recently. They're one of the few companies that actually sign on creators like us. Willem, you, you have like a year with them, right? Yeah. And it kind of allows you the peace of mind that a lot of times we don't have of knowing that we have a sponsorship like once a month or X amount of months. And it actually allows you to do your job. Mm -hmm. It's it, probably the closest thing to like stability that we have is like a Squarespace it sponsorship. It feels like I have a job and yeah. like a year's worth of time, like I can kind of think that I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. So thank you Squarespace <laughs> thank for that. Thank you Squarespace. I, I say this in that when you sign up with one of our links, uh, you're not just getting great features and an easy website, but you're also supporting the creators you love. So it's like a win-win, right? And that's what makes it possible. Yeah, yeah. Please use our links. Please. But mine, not Willem's. Oh. We'll, we'll, oh. we'll plug his link Cut. in his Cut. video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. timing due to uh, world events, but the pictures are in. So I had to order them on thedarkroom.net. No one locally in New York um, could develop 110 films. So we have them, they're in the two folders. I've seen the thumbnails because you know you kind of had to when you download it from the website, but Willem hasn't seen anything. So we're gonna start with a folder titled 1035 Nine. Yep, I just clicked on it. It looks super vibey. Look at the guy through the window looking at me. Yeah. I'm yep. a photographer. You had your flash on with this one too. Yeah. yeah oh, look. Yeah. The flash in the, truck. In the car. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, vibes. Oh, dude. Stranger filming. His name is Dan. Next. Hey! Oh, hey! I love it. <laughs> this one's so good. That well, that's really your new good. profile. Imagine that on okay. your feed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Might next. post this one up later. So. <laughs> please, we'll please. See. Another Dan picture. Okay. Oh. That's pretty sick. Sarah, what were your artistic intentions with okay, this Okay, yes. So I saw the man crossing the street and then I saw the depth of the buildings in the background. Mm -hmm. And if you see the leading lines that just lead you all the way to the back of those buildings and the multiple streets and the subway, I just had to have it. I just had to take that pic. Mm -hmm. She saw the guy in the middle of the road. It should have stopped there. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Ooh, I like oh. this building. Okay, look at so that. Right. 
That's like, mm -hmm. you, you look like you're in a movie, Willem. It's funny that there really like isn't enough detail to see my eyes. <laughs> like they look like True. sockets. <laughs> so the next one's gonna be better. Okay, ready guys? I hope so. <laughs> Here we go, next. Okay, oh, that's, cool. that's much better. It's, yeah, it's getting there. It looks there. like a different camera. <laughs> Look how I, okay. different the, the pictures yeah. look. Like, it looks like a different yeah. camera completely. Yeah, why is that? Did one flash hit or something? Maybe the shutter is like old or something and it just had different shutter speeds and this one was yeah. better. Because the other one looks underexposed, but this one doesn't. Yeah. Because this one looks like sick. I it look looks... way better when I'm well exposed. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the uh, um, the album cover to your hipster band. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's my band called? My emotions hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's art. Hmm. I like your other one more. Oh, okay. All right. Harsh. Yeah, that's sorry, the, that yeah, hurts my harsh. feelings. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Buildings next. Sarah took it. Oh, I like hey, that. I like that one. Yeah, that's cool. Mm, okay. I like that. I think that's 21 cool. is a vibe, because that's kind of like our yeah. street. Anytime you can get taxis in the shot, you know? <laughs> it's big oh, oh. What's up, girl? <laughs> okay. Did I take this one? I or think did so. Dan take this one? I think you took this one. The ghost of Sarah Dici. Oh, sassy. Mm. <laughs> I the the crossed arms. Yeah, you're a little sasshole. Something wild is going on. Oh, interesting. Okay, number one, I opened it. What is going on with that color? I don't know. It's like pink and green. Reminds me of a watermelon. That's me. That's it the camera. It literally looks like they put some kind of filter on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the Dan in the wild. <laughs> oh, let's go. Mine looks more contrasty than yours. Yeah. Sure. I like the contrast, though. Yeah, me too. I'm so moody. A little overexposed. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. But So my moody. camera, like, literally there's no control over it. Yeah. So. Oh, what the heck was I thinking with this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's a still life. It's the keys it dangling. Oh. It's the curiosity. I'm by this one. It is the curiosity that lays beyond those mm. buttons, Willem. What is beyond that door? Oh. Wow. A man okay. passing, a businessman passing. Dan yeah. giving him the suck. The loading of I the doing? <laughs> I think I was distracted. I think I was distracted by filming and stuff at this point. I must have been. But you captured an intimate moment of life, moving into an yeah. apartment. I guess I didn't realize how um, how cropped the lens was. Hmm. This one has potential in the edit, but I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. The moving. This is interesting. There's yeah, some depth. I kind of like this one. There's some depth with the guy in his head, like typical phone neck. Mm-hmm. Freaking phone neck. The necks. light. Oh, here's uh, the water that you like so much. Yeah, this is the one I was waiting on. Here we go. Hmm. I think I took a lot of this. Oh uh, yeah, here's area. another one, number 10. I like the, yep. I feel like I like the vertical one better. I think so too, yeah. Oh, you got her too! Yeah. Number 12! Right. That's the same girl that I took a picture of. Is, what are the got, speckles of light? I don't know, I feel like that's chemistry, like bad film chemistry. This is oh, some fire exposure. Oh, yes, queen. Look at this one, John. No. Oh. Ooh, All there right. we go, getting the shot. Next one. Oh, this one is kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you the got the writing. The font kind of disappeared. I know, it's like if it was more punchy and contrasty to where that. You know I'm gonna add that contrast. Oh though. yeah, oh <laughs> yeah. No, I like that font. Ooh. Dang, mine has these red splashes all over the place. I know, I mean, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> 110, right? Mine was like expired yeah. and I got it at a random place in like the back streets of Tokyo. So I was oh. nervous. You did get expired film. <clears throat> I didn't think about yeah. that. Mine wasn't expired. Mine was fresh. All right. All right. Next, 18. Oh, oh, there she is. And then the next Why one is me. Why were you me. like leaning against <laughs> the wall? <laughs> I was tired, Willem. Okay, last picture. Oh, oh nice yeah. This one. Yes. See, I had no idea you actually got this one off when you were stalking them. Okay, stalking them is... 
I'm kidding. It was like three seconds of following very close behind them. No, I love that though. Well, you I was got just the trying flowers. to catch up because they were crossing, yeah. Yeah, you got the flowers and the yellow jacket. Yeah. That's a very nice last photo. All right, Willem, thoughts, comments? Thoughts, I mean, this is my first time seeing the 110 film, but my film, which was the fresh film, looks pretty good. It has like a nice, really soft grain. Yeah. Yeah, and that is something that I noticed is your grain was definitely not as heavy as mine. Looking at these does give me a little bit more confidence and that that is so, that's such a tiny camera. You really could just bring it anywhere to have some fun film photos, right? Like it's not your main thing, so you're not heavily relying on it and you can't mess it up. With 35 mm -hmm. millimeter film, there's not as many steps. It's you just drop it in there. <laughs> Right. It's Sarah proof. Sarah can't screw it up. So this was super fun. I'm glad I got to use my tiny, tiny 110 film camera. It was a new experience for me. And then when New York City settles down, we gotta grab that 120 film camera and do a video on Willem's channel. So make sure everyone goes subscribe. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And go say hi to Willem on his YouTube channel. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And until next time guys, stay inside. Okay, bye.